Chris, thank you. Stunning video tonight you will only see on WYFF News 4. A train slammed into a tractor trailer stopped on railroad tracks in Greer. The driver escaped the truck just seconds before impact. Our Carlos Flores has been following this. And Carlos, what did the truck driver say tonight? Well, uh, Nigel, he's, she's just happy to be alive and well. But just to give you an idea of kind of what you saw there in that video, from what we know, that train was coming down this way, heading towards us. And you would think there'll be tons of debris left over, but they're actually, it's pretty clear. It feels like nothing even happened outside of a sign that was just pretty taken apart. You can see some tire tracks of some of those first responder vehicles. But that 18-wheeler driver just told me it all happened just in a matter of seconds. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but hop out and run. It all happened in seconds. I didn't have enough time to clear because the train was coming like literally, like I mean, full speed. Quantina Hunter says she was on her way to pick up a delivery. I mean, I hear the noise. He's coming. It's too late now. I had no choice but to get out, you know, get out. That's when the traffic arm came down and the light started to flash. As I was going across the tracks, whatever, it was no fair warning that a train was even coming. I already knew when I seen him, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, he can't stop, you know, so I had no choice but to get up. This video sent by a viewer shows that exact moment when the train ran through the middle of Hunter's trailer. You can see Hunter jump out seconds before impact. Like I said, it just came out of nowhere, literally. City of Greer police say no one was hurt, but it didn't leave Hunter wondering what if. Oh, yeah, I probably wouldn't be standing here telling, you know what I'm saying, so... Now we reached out to Norfolk Southern for comment on this incident and they sent us a statement in part quote, warning devices there have been found to be working as intended. Again, such an incredible story. Happy uh, she wasn't hurt, but for now live in Greer, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.